Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Low on a playthrough. It's been a second. I'm actually like weirdly a bit nervous today. I think it's just because it's been so long. Um, I'm so sorry it has been so long. I know I did say I was going to be away for a while. I didn't expect it to be this long though. Um, long story short, in my day job, <laughs> um, things have just been a bit mental recently. Um, there's been a lot of big changes and trying to like adjust to that and then all of the work that comes along with it. Um, and I have, a, my job is linked to finance and it's year end. It's just been the perfect storm of things going on at work basically. Um, and outside of work, I was working longer hours and then outside of work I just had no energy or <laughs> mental capacity left for anything other than recovering. Um, and preparing for the next um, week. So thank you all so much for your patience. I loved all the comments um, about me working on Red Dead Redemption 3. Unfortunately, no, I'm not working on Red Dead Redemption 3. I wish, um, but I was actually having a really tough day when those comments came in and they all just made me smile and like laugh to myself and just reminded me that like, no matter what is going on, <laughs> I've got you guys. <laughs> And I don't know, it just made me feel really happy to like have you guys cheering me up and making me laugh. So thank you to everybody who did comment, especially about the Red Dead Redemption 3 stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> it made my day. It was just one of those small, like, bright parts of my day that I think I really needed. So thank you all so much and just for your patience in general. I know it's been a while. I am actually, for those of you on Patreon, you'll already know this, <laughs> but for the rest of you, I'm going to Ireland next week. And I'm so excited. I'm super nervous, but I'm also really excited. Um, you guys know <laughs> how I am with Irish accents. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to handle being surrounded by them. Um, but I am, yeah, really excited. I've already been told to watch out for the Odriscoles. <laughs> um, I've been warned not to try and hog tie somebody and drag them around Dublin with me. <laughs> it's less acceptable in the modern times, apparently. Um, so yeah, uh, I, by the time this is up on YouTube, I will be in Ireland by the time you guys see it, um, Patreon will see it a bit earlier. Um, so yeah, how exciting. But anyway, enough about me and, and my life. Um, if I recall, we have a bridge to blow up with John, and we also have a certain Colmo Driscoll. Um, to see Swing. Uh, I believe those were the two main missions we had and we also had the debt collecting missions which I just started but hadn't actually done any of yet and we had a few other white missions around the board as well um, to do if we fancy it. Also last time I went to see the ghost, I've forgotten her name, was it Agnes? I've forgotten, the ghost lady in the swamps um, and we got I can't remember how many, but quite a few interactions with her and overheard what she said. Um, but there's still plenty to go apparently to learn like her full story. So I'd love to go and see more of her. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this episode or not, but I do plan to go back. And somebody did say um, not to try running up to her like I was doing, like charging like a rhino, um, to just sit back and watch through like the sniper rifle or binoculars or something, and then you get to see her stay in ghost form. If you get too close, she'll keep talking, but she will disappear, so good tip. Okay, are we ready? Let's get back into it. Oh, it all feels so strange now, it's been so long. I've used my um, voice a bit too much today, so my voice is feeling a bit hoarse, but I, I think it sounds okay. Um, yeah, hopefully it holds up for this episode, because we all know I like to talk. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. Oh, we're over here now. So who do you think the rat is? Rat? Well, someone's talking to somebody. They has to be. Uh, I reckon they just caught our scent and we can't shake them off, that's all. I think it's Marston. <sighs> Nonsense. Mark my words. I will mark him. <laughs> you just follow like a blind dog, don't you? Don't you test me, Morgan. Hey, kid. The dog 
dog is gone. You can be quiet now. He'll... He'll come back. Kay! Kay! Come here. Come here, Jack. The dog ain't coming back. Hmm? Hmm? Now get lost! <laughs> what the hell did you do to the dog? Must have run away, dumb mutt. You bastard. world out there and it's catching up with us hey I, I i'm too old to be alone and too scared to remain here it's very worrying very worrying indeed i'm so afraid i'm so very afraid i, I i'm not sleeping i'm not sleeping at all are you thinking about leaving i have no money i am old i am frightened i'm so frightened Excuse me, but everyone has gone crazy. See, part of me feels bad for him. But then I remind myself that's how the people probably feel who he's lent money to. What's wrong with you, Arthur? How you mean? <laughs> Causing all this trouble just when we need to be united. <sighs> I ain't causing no trouble. <coughs> I just ain't standing for any more lies. Ain't loyalty mean nothing to you? I ain't dying for whatever nonsense Micah and Dutch have concocted. And, well, I don't matter much anymore, but I ain't letting the women here die for that neither. Jenga. What are you singing about? Wow. What? Wow. What? Wow. What? Were you joining in the conversation? Wow. Are you giving Bill a piece of your mind? Wow. Yeah? Wow. Yeah? Wow. Arthur, if the Pinkertons don't kill us, your food will. I'm doing my best here. Everyone around here could do with a good meal. Is this meant to be funny? But all you give us is pig wheel. Look, I'm too busy for this. Hi, Susan. Well, hi. Place is on edge. What do you think we should do about Dutch? He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. Oh, I know. Lecture, Susan. Why the hell do you think I'm still here? Mr. Morgan, I'm on your side. It's okay. I'm just needling you. I'm on edge enough without this. <laughs> Mr. Strauss. Try to stay calm in all this. I can't believe this is what it's come to. You're even more naive than I thought. I'm in no mood for mockery, Mr. Morgan. There's no need for that. Come on. Abigail. Hi, Arthur. No place like home, huh? What are we gonna do about all this, Arthur? Look, I can't just fix everything. We're in this together, okay? Save it for them, Arthur. Bill, I can see all this is hitting you hard. Don't you try and sidle up to me. <laughs> oh. Like a dumb mutt who gets kicked and keeps coming back for more. Don't you even start with me. <laughs> well, he's got a gun. Hi, Tilly. Hi. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. You tell me, since you seem to know everything. Hey, that's not called for. 
Mary Beth. Okay, Arthur. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. Nobody's forcing you to stay, Mary Beth. Think for yourself. Come on, Arthur, don't start. So you think... You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. <laughs> Keep an eye for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot. Is that it? Right, what's going on? Ooh. Look at us in red territory. Okay. We've got J. John Weathers. Oh, there is another Charlotte one. Um, I thought there was another debt collecting one. He did tell us to do one of them first though, so is that why that's the only one showing up? Or maybe it's a time of day thing? I don't know. Um, oh, that's Margaret. Um, and then, yeah, we've got blowing up the bridge with John. I'm tempted to go and do that one. Shall we? Should we go and do that one? I think we shall. You're a sad case, Pearson. Don't take it out on me. Man in denial. Why are you doing this? I'm too scared to admit it. Okay. You do what you want. Good old Doyle's Tavern. Mister. Did I get the wrong door? <laughs> I did. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Ah, uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. She's a lady. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. Sadie. Uh, practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell, 
Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey! You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. All this doubting, Dutch. I miss the old... Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Is the game calling me fat or something? There we go. Oh, this is the gallery. Oh, yeah. A random place for doors. Not even a lady. this down. A gun case. <laughs> Meta gaming. Holm 
O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges... This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. <laughs> but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! plan is when they got when they got calm out they well, would go right away we got them let's just get out of here go Get on, Arthur. Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I am sorry I asked for your help with Daddy, but at the time, I felt that I had nowhere else to turn. After reading the recent events in the newspaper, I understand much better now just how busy you have been. I don't imagine you will receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you. And I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. 
I am so sorry for everything. For everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. For that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago, when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye. Mary. Ooh. She broke up with me after I broke up with her first. Does that mean I won't see her again? <laughs> I like Mrs. Grimshaw is like singing some sad like background music to <laughs> Arthur's broken heart. <laughs> Thanks for being there, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> You're a snake. Now don't get yourself all worked up. I'm watching you. What's really the problem, Arthur? Ah, hmm? oh, shut your mouth. I see I'm done through. with this now. You wait. Rude. There's EF. Oh, eagle flies. Yeah, nothing for Mary. That just convinced eagle flies to take action against the military. No, no, that's not the one I was thinking of. I do remember that one. That was a good one. I was thinking that was the one where back at the uh, oil place. Um, I can't remember what happened in the first one. I know she gave me the ring. Um, we did the first mission in Valentine to go and save her brother. We did the mission where her dad was in trouble, something to do with a family brooch. Then we went on a date in Saint Denis. Did we do any other missions after that? I can't remember. Um, and it was the one with her dad that I turned her down. Uh, so I guess we don't get to go on a date. I can't remember if that's... Did she send the letter with the ring and then we went on a date? Or did that happen before the letter? I can't remember. But it's cool that it's different. I do know that it's different. Well, you're welcome, Arthur. <laughs> I have freed you. Um gonna leave Charlotte she's she's doing well now she's looking after herself so I think she can survive if I leave her um I might come back as John let's go and see this person Mr. Weathers yeah because the other person was called Arthur because Strauss was like hey it's you oh should I should I not do them Mm, I don't know. Like maybe if I keep doing gold missions eventually Strauss will just leave. Oh Karen. So tragic. But then I'm like if I don't do them, will Strauss say something? I don't know. Interesting rock bill. What are we looking at? Hey. What's up? That is a nice flower. Oh, mushrooms. Oh, bless it. <laughs> he 
He is so zoned out right now. <laughs> Don't think too hard, Bill. Mike's on the pile of dead things where Just it belongs. Just stay away from me. You think you're so clever, don't you? I ain't the problem here, Morgan. But I see exactly what you're doing. What are you trying to do here? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Think you're such a big man. I'm surprised he kept the music player. I'm trying to see like how much it's changed. Has it changed all that much since Molly left? I don't remember there being all this fur, but maybe there was. Is that why she killed herself? Because the guy she loved left her for the other woman? Oh, that's so creepy. Mother, you can be so unkind. So very unkind. It ain't like that. It ain't like that at all. You can shoot at her? No, I like her. Oh, she faded away. Oh! What? What's up? Okay, no, I don't like that one wearing night folk territory. No, thank you very much. If my horse is spooked, I'm spooked. Cybrus has good instincts. <laughs> okay. Was it was Cybrus spooked because Easy of the ghost now. or was there something else going on? Poor <laughs> her. Okay, yeah, just I just felt like popping down and just seeing if we could get another one. And we did. Anyway, um, yeah, I might do the deck collecting. Ooh, Henry Lemire. Nah. Although I do get to beat someone up. Yeah. <laughs> that feels like a bad Arthur kind of mission. Yeah. Oh, but easy, then. Easy. Through the bayou. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to go back to where the night folk are dwelling. Thanks. I'm going to go back up to there. 
Okay, I've made my mind up. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Away from yep. the night folk. I feel like I found him. Hello there. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them, just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, may as well protect the payment. Ah! Oh no, the horses! I'm gonna blow your head off. probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Fine. Now, go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I don't know where we can go, but I'll try. Pray for us. We're past praying, boy. <laughs> oh, so you can do it, Loana. <gasps> like the sunrise hitting the mountains. Beautiful. Okay, let's head back. Ooh. Is that who I think it is? It is. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Yeah. Looks like he doesn't have a leg to stand on. Hey! You there? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Come on, Buell. 
Where are you, old pal? Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. Whoa, now, easy, easy. Easy. Whoa, now, easy. Get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how. Big and strong you are. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> when it comes to animals. We ain't far now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. <laughs> yeah. How'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Oh, those two. Ah, uh, yeah, now it's showing Arthur Londonderry. I feel like I want to do that mission just in case, because I don't know if if and when Strauss is going to leave. Well, I know Strauss is going to leave, I just don't know when. Um, I think for now, I don't want him to leave halfway through, so I'm going to go and do that one. Yeah. Naked man. Damn it. Hold on, let me just reload. <laughs> Give me a second. Rude wolf. Oh, it's down by that cave, isn't it?
Okay, don't get too close. Yeah, I think they're right down there. Oh, Wolfman! Probably just killed his cousins or something. Oh, so what was it they said last time? Last time I went in, shot the wolves. Tried to spare the guy, but he was upset and angry, so I think I ended up killing him. Whoa, or something. Easy. Oh, I swear someone said you didn't have to kill the wolves or something. I can give it a go. Worst case scenario. Worst comes to worst, I die. <laughs> Oh wait, no. He sneaks up on you, doesn't he? Suddenly I feel less calm. Wait, could I... What happens if I hog tie him and take him to a station? I'm like, this guy needs to be brought back into society. Although, I think it's kind of cool that he lives out here with wolves. Like, if he's happy, living his best life, I'm gonna leave him for now. I'll think about it. Let me know if there's any like cool way to deal with him, or like what your preferred way is, like to leave him alone or to do anything. Or I think as well, there's a. Is there a diary in there? And I think last time it wasn't working for me, so I couldn't read anything in the journal or the diary. I think it's worth it. Maybe I could try that again and see if I can read it this time. <coughs> yep. Oh, the London Dairy. Which I just recently found out is a place. I think in Ireland? Is it a place in Ireland? I don't know. Okay, it's not London Derry, it's London Derry Derry. <laughs> and it's in Northern Ireland. Just on that side of the border. London Derry Derry. <laughs> Why did they add another Derry? Anyway, I digress. You know where I can find Arthur Londonderry? Arthur Londonderry? I, I think you're gonna want to speak with the foreman. Head way down there towards the coalface. Whoa. What is going on? Is that a portal? <laughs> That's what the aliens were up to. What happens if I put my head in it? <laughs> Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. Well, technically, neither am I. It's a little Austrian man. 
Okay, fella. Um, okay. This is London, though. Like me, be a wise man, be a fool for love. He sounds more cheery than normal. Help a blind man. There you go. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply. For the man with no nose is coming for you. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Did we ever figure that out? No Don't hands. waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. Man with no nose. Oh no! It's happening! <laughs> it's very close to your head. Your stench precedes you. Stay away from me! Oh, no. I sense bad energy returning. <laughs> Stay <Yep>. away! <laughs> Good luck finding your mug. Yeah. Let's go rob a widow. <laughs> I'm definitely not putting a redemption into Red Dead Redemption, am I? Is London Derek? <coughs> Off is dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. So much. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? Won't we lie down for you? No, no. Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I guess I was just coming to say that that's canceled. That's it. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things different. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Okay, I'm done. Oh no, people are coming after me. <laughs> Let's run away. <laughs> Why? What did I do? Oh, bounty hunters. Hey, boy. Yep. Lead him back to camp, <laughs> like we were always taught to do. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's good, I suppose. <coughs> oh, there he is, Coffin Billy. Get lost. Oh, you'll be okay, Arthur. And if you ain't, we'll all miss you. I'll be in hell, Micah, eagerly awaiting your arrival. 
I will miss our conversations, Arthur. I really will. I won't. Mm. Where's Sadie and Dutch? I've not actually seen them since we got back. They won't be at the John mission. Are they okay? He's Dutch in his tent. I think normally he's sat in his chair. Keeping Tom for a second. Yeah, he's not in his tent. I didn't see him earlier either. I was hoping to get some camp conversations. Now it's like later in the evening. Um, I won't get that one with John because he's obviously over by his mission. I don't know where Dutch and Sadie are. <laughs> I've lost them. Oh! I wonder if they're over there. Yeah, because Dutch is probably over there, isn't he? I remember him being on that mission. Yes, yes. Um, was Sadie, though? I don't remember Sadie being there, but maybe she was. That explains where Dutch is, though. Um, I don't know about Sadie. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but yeah, everyone's gone to bed, and now it's just me and Micah. Not my favourite combo. So I might call it a night there because it's late. And then we'll carry on. We'll blow up a bridge next time. Blow up a bridge, go for a dip. <laughs> and then see what comes next. This is lazy of me. Normally I just run up this hill, but I've got to look after poor Arthur's luck. <laughs> so I'm bringing Cerberus with me. No trees disappearing this time. Good, that's what we like. Um. Okay, so normally I try and do like a couple of gold missions and then maybe like a white mission. Today I think I've done a couple of white missions, or a few white missions, um, but just the one gold mission. We did get to see the end of Colm O'Driscoll, which is good. <laughs> He's been haunting our camp for too long. Um, it was good to get vengeance for um, Kieran and... Yeah, I know Sadie and Dutch had their own uh, scores to settle with him as well. That's one of my favourite bits in terms of like how they've captured um, expressions and everything. I know I said this last playthrough as well, but that prolonged moment where Colm is searching the crowd and the rooftops for anybody who might give him some <laughs> rescue or salvation at all and it dawns on him that this is it and you just see like the hope leave his eyes and the desperation and the panic and like his breathing as well I noticed this time um yeah he's all like cocky to begin with um and it's like yeah trying to challenge them and everything because he knows he's about to get away and then you just see that like leave him like you just see the cool collectedness just seep out and just get replaced by like fear and desperation and panic but at that point he, he's got nowhere to go um and kind of like that time that arthur was with sister Calderon at emerald station and they just captured his eyes so well and like oh, I, can't, I can't even like put into words just like just how they captured so much emotion in a game, in a video game. And they did it there as well with Calm. Um, that was like probably my second favorite after um, Arthur's one with Sister Calderon. Um, 
where yeah you just no words but just his expression is just telling you so much and how they've captured that in a video game character <laughs> i don't know um yeah rockstar and the team that worked on this are absolute wizards um so yeah that's the end of Colmo driscoll we met hamish and buell for the first time in this playthrough um it was nice meeting hamish and buell again um, I did miss them. It's a bit weird because obviously last time, because I left the mission until I was John, that final mission, I had Buell as my one of my main horses. It was almost strange seeing like someone else own him, even though that was obviously the original owner, because um, I just got so used to him being one of my horses. But it's kind of nice to kind of get to meet him for the first time again. And Hamish is just such a legend as well. Um, I'd forgotten some stuff that he said as well, like I forgot that Buell was the name of his general, I think he said, in the war. Um, I didn't realise that's where Buell got his name from, I must have like missed that the first time, so that's quite nice. And the debt collecting missions, I'm kind of glad, because I didn't realise they'd give you like a less nice way to do it, I forgot that. Um, so I was a bit worried that suddenly it would be like racking up all of my... Um, high honour uh, and I'd have to like kill loads of people or something to push it back down but it does give you that um, option so you still get to do them but I don't have to compromise my low honour-ness. Um, I still have, yeah I'm not quite totally at the bottom, I'm not far off so um, yeah I will need to <laughs> before the end uh, just go and shoot up a town or something but that'll be easy enough. I'm getting very used to being bad. I hope I can go back to being good again. <laughs> or is this just how I play video games now? <laughs> so yeah, next time we'll blow up a bridge and go and assist eagle flies. I am deliberately putting off speaking to Strauss because that mission, like that mission, like, you know, when you speak to him and then Arthur kicks him out camp. Like last time, that actually broke my heart a little bit. I did feel really bad for Strauss because it was like the middle of the night and Arthur just kicks him out. Doesn't even give him like time to say goodbye. I don't have any love for Strauss. Like the stuff he does is horrible um, and I can't stand it. But also like I still empathize and I still felt like he deserved at least like one day to like get his stuff together say goodbyes, have a meal before he hits the road, not just like out in the middle of the night with the them and Murphy brood everywhere. Um, and I think, although Arthur doesn't know this at the time, especially knowing that he got captured um, afterwards and like still wouldn't talk and like tell the gang secrets and stuff. Like, I don't like Strauss, but I don't think he deserves that in that way. Um, so yeah, I'm putting it off. I don't know if like low honor Arthur does it any differently, but if anything, I think he'd be even more savage. So I might do that next time, but I, I'm avoiding it. <laughs> Although it is a white mission, so I don't have to do it. I don't know what happens if I don't. Does he just kind of disappear one night like he would have done if I hadn't started the missions? So yeah. I will upload this as soon as I can to Patreon and then next weekend, next Sunday, it will be up on YouTube um, and hopefully we're back to more or less normal. I'm going to try and get an episode up for Patreon next weekend if I can for while I'm in Ireland. Um, there may be a one week gap if I don't manage to do that in time, but otherwise we're back to normal now. Um, hopefully till the end of the game, which isn't actually that far away, it's scarily close. I thought we had like loads more left to do, but... It really is creeping up on us. Okay, the bounty hunters showed up, so <laughs> I had to run away. Uh, I'm gonna win the episode here, but there's not too many people around, so hopefully nobody will be chatting to me. It is Easter Sunday when I'm recording this, so it would have passed by the time you see this, but I hope you had a really lovely Easter, um, and I hope you'll have a really lovely week ahead of you. Thank you all again so much for your patience, and um, yeah, thank you for those comments. They really did brighten my day. And I will see you next week for another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you then. Bye.